Hi, my beautiful Sagittarius. This is Gina with Aries Goddess Tarot, and this is your February 2019 reading. First, I want to say welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you. I love you. Welcome back. Um, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, you can also check your moon and your rising signs. And if you don't know what those are, then I will I put a link in the description box of this video where you can get your whole birth chart for free. Um, free is always good. <laughs> um, also, please like and subscribe if you like this video. It helps me keep my channel going. And if you would like a general read... Er, you would like a private reading with me um, my email address and my website are both in the description and that way you can contact me for a private reading all right so let's get started uh, the first card is from the ascended masters Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue and it will set the tone for the whole reading they're very, very good at doing that. So, let's see here. Come on, cards. What do we want to tell our wonderful Sagittarius people for the month of February? Mm -hmm. Your message for this month is nurture yourself with Mother Mary. She put, She's very, very nurturing. And uh, of of everyone, and if you don't nurture yourself and take care of yourself, then you're not gonna do as good of a job as taking of taking care of everyone else. Uh, <laughs> trust me, I learned that one the hard way, and didn't wake up until a friend of mine pointed it out to me. All right, now the next few cards I'm going to do, do, the tarot cards are not a typical tarot deck. It's the mythical goddess tarot. And I'm going to give these another shuffle here. And let's see what the tarot cards have to say for Sagittarius for February 2019. All right, you've got the Four of Earth Boundaries. Now, the little uh, goat mandala there is, is a protection for you. Nurture yourself, know your, set your boundaries with people. Um... You know, there's some people that we allow in our lives, but at the same time, we have to keep them at arm's length. Um, or, you know, just set your boundaries with people. Especially until you really get to know them. Because some people really are wolves in sheep's clothing. Oh, well. All right, then we've got the Eight of Wind, Confusion. Got all the spirals. She's got her hand on her head, her, both her hands on her head, and just like wigging out, confused. Um, you have you have a lot going on. It looks like. Um. Yeah, that's, that's where nurturing yourself also comes in. It's a warning to not, not let yourself get all, all frazzled. Take a deep breath. Take a hot bath and lock yourself in the bathroom if you're a mom and your kids won't leave you alone or, or something like that. Um, yeah. Looks like 
And Sagittarius, my rising sign Sagittarius, <laughs> and we can be very, very uh, busy people. And just do, do, and do, and not think of ourselves. And you gotta, you gotta take time out. Then we've got the Two of Fire centering. And she's sitting there in a yoga pose, getting centered, getting grounded. Her uh, heart chakra is lit up there. And ground yourself, get centered. And yeah, nurture yourself. <laughs> That centering is a very, um, yeah, you got to get grounded and get centered and it helps get rid of a lot of that confusion. It really does. All right. Ooh, then you have the chariot card, the number seven in the major arcana. And this one has the goddess Athena on it. The Greek goddess who just is going and going and going after her goals and she's got those horses pulling her in the direction that she wants to go she's looking straight forward she knows her goal and she's going to get it and this is helping her go get it the the horses the chariot keep your eye on the prize sag keep your eye on the prize you're on your way you're on your way. Definitely. Mm. And then we have the Nine of Fire Integrity. Isn't that gorgeous? Everything's all lit up. She's got her eyes closed. So she's picturing things, visualized. The third eye is open there, the throat chakra, and it's focus with integrity, you know, just be yourself, be honest, be honest with, with everyone, including yourself. Integrity is very important in getting ahead. All right. Yeah, these cards are trying to come out too many at once here. Ah, here we go. The Four of Seas, Desire. This has come up in a lot of readings this month for February. She's got a pearl of wisdom in her hand, pearls around her neck, her eyes closed, the moon's out. Pay attention to your dreams. Um, know your heart's desire. Pray for them. Meditate on them at night before you go to sleep. You know, pray, pray about it and meditate on uh, or and about your heart's desire. And then... Pay attention to your dreams. Um, be surprised what can happen, what you can realize. I've also learned that dreams might not be. I've woken up from dreams and it's just like, I might not remember the dream exactly, but I'll remember how it made me feel, whether I was... Whether I was happy, whether I was sad, whether I was confused, I woke up and go, what was, that was a weird dream, and why did I dream that, and why am I waking up feeling confused? And I had one of those a couple months ago, and I was, it, it took me a long time to, to work that out in my mind. And I did have a lot of confusion in my life at the time. All right, then I'm going to have one card from the Archangel Oracle deck here. <laughs> Healthy lifestyle. 
with Archangel Raphael. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. Oh, well, there we go. Sag, nurture yourself. Nurture yourself. Keep your, keep people, you know, boundaries. Keep your boundaries. <laughs> Don't be in a state of confusion. Don't be in a state of confusion. Get centered. Get yourself centered. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on your, on your goal. And have integrity. Have integrity with your mission. Know your heart's desire. Pay attention to your dreams. <laughs> and live a healthy lifestyle. Start with nurture yourself. End with healthy lifestyle. Wow. All right. Then I'm going to have one card here from the St. Michael Oracle deck. And... St. Michael says, write about your thoughts and feelings. My prayer, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. Wow. Wow. Write about your thoughts and feelings. Write down your dreams. If you, I know we don't always have time to do that. We get busy, but write about, keep a journal, keep a dream journal. Pay attention. Sometimes I, you can have real epiphanies when I've taken the time to do it and written down my thoughts. I'll tell you what, epiphanies can come. All right, and then one more, last but not least here. Uh, this is an oracle deck of the Egyptian goddess Isis, Isis, whatever you want to call her. I don't like the connotation with the word Isis right now. Um, and each card has a um, picture different picture on one side and on the other side it has um, a guidance so let's see what she has to say tonight for February there's the picture on that one and this one's guidance says Lady of the Stars. Cirrus is a celestial goddess, a star of unconditional love and wisdom at an extremely high vibration. She brings deep soul awakening, spiritual gifts, and a high capacity for divine service. She asks you to pay attention now because something significant is taking place at a spiritual level for you at this time. Wow. Well, there you go, Sag. Uh, that is your reading for February 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment. I, I love reading the comments. I read them all. And... If you would like a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below to get a hold of me. Thank you, I love you, and I will see you in the next video.